Can a person's fate be worse than death? Is it possible for a criminal to willingly prefer a life sentence over the death penalty? Unbelievable as it may sound, there are prisons in this world where execution has become a merciful punishment, and the kind of violence that cannot be described in words echoes within their walls. In this video, we will take a look at the world's 11 most challenging prisons. Take a deep breath because things are about to get ugly. Enjoy the video. Mendoza Prison, Argentina The most dangerous 90 convicts in Argentina are held in the fifth section of Mendoza Prison. This section is so perilous that no one dares to enter it, not even the guards, who leave the prisoners' meals in predetermined spots around the door. Like many other prisons mentioned, this one has also suffered from overcrowding. A facility designed for only 600 people is now shared by 1,600 inmates. With no sign of beds or mattresses, prisoners often sleep on the floor in the very places where they endure severe torture. The ordeal doesn't end there. Due to the lack of toilets, prisoners must relieve themselves using plastic bags or bottles, turning the corridors into a pool of plastic waste and excrement. According to some reports, in protest against unbearable living conditions, some prisoners literally sewed their mouths shut. However, no improvements were made. To survive, inmates must act quickly and cunningly, as the difference between their meals and mud is virtually non-existent. Authorities have made it a habit to attribute the deaths of inmates to unknown causes, making it unclear how many people have died and for what reasons. Carandira Prison, Brazil Carandira Prison was one of the infamous prisons known for human rights violations. Built in 1890, the facility became overcrowded in the 20th century, leading inmates to establish their own rules and take command from the already limited number of guards. The prison hosted up to 8,000 inmates, many of whom suffered from contagious diseases. A prison riot in 1992 resulted in the deaths of 111 people. Military police intervened, and many prisoners, including those who surrendered, were killed. Between 1989 and 2001, a doctor who worked in the facility published a book describing the horrendous conditions in the prison. The doctor's accounts led to public outrage and ultimately the prison's closure. The remaining building has since been repurposed as a public museum. Maracaibo National Prison, Venezuela Considering Venezuela's second highest murder rate in the world, it's not surprising that its prisons face significant issues as well. Maracaibo National Prison, built in 1958 and closed after a riot in 2013, is one of such problematic facilities. The prison, initially designed for 800 inmates, housed as many as 2,500 to 3,000 prisoners at times. As you can imagine, the prison was filthy, dangerous, overcrowded, and poorly maintained. Each guard was responsible for approximately 150 inmates, making maintaining order extremely difficult. In response, inmates established a strict hierarchy to regulate their lives. Impoverished and lower status prisoners would pay stronger inmates for a place to sleep. Many thirsty inmates had to rely on leaky bathroom pipes for water. Furthermore, even though some detainees had not been convicted, they would be held in the facility for extended periods. Instead of the required eight months for a court appearance, some would spend years waiting. As a result of these inhumane conditions, riots were frequent and the prison's history was stained with blood. In a 1994 uprising, 108 inmates lost their lives, and a similar riot in 2013 resulted in the closure of the prison. In the words of former Venezuelan President Hugo Chavez, Maracaibo Prison was the gateway to the depths of hell. Camp 22, North Korea Also known as Hobyong Detention Camp, 
Camp 22 was a prison in North Korea that was closed in 2012. While it is said that around 200,000 inmates were sent here, the North Korean government has always denied the facility's existence. Camp 22 had conditions that led to the deaths of approximately 1,500 to 2,000 people each year, primarily children, making up about 25% of the camp's population. Former guards and a few survivors confirmed the reports by stating that a person entering the detention camp would likely die or become disabled within three months. Hunger was not limited to the lower ranks. It was the fate of every inmate. These prisoners were fed a muddy meal made from corn flour and cabbage every day throughout their time in prison. To avoid starving, they would supplement their meals with mice and insects. At one point, mice became such a crucial part of their diet that the local rodent population became extinct. Considering how fast mice can reproduce, the situation becomes even more horrifying. Inmates who didn't die from hunger became playthings for prison guards. Girls born in the camp were fed to dogs, further brutalizing the animals. Prisoners were treated like disposable commodities for guards to relieve their stress. If anyone attempted to escape, their entire families, including those unaware of the escape, would be subjected to torture. Having children was strictly forbidden. Pregnant women were quickly identified and executed by firing squad. In Camp 22, the best thing that could happen to you is death, as living meant waking up to a new day of torture every day. La Modelo Prison, Colombia Located in the capital of Colombia, Bogota, La Modelo Prison is notorious for its violent uprisings. The facility housing 11,000 inmates, consists of two wings, the North Wing for leftist rebels and the South Wing for right-wing government supporters. The area between these wings is essentially a war zone. Despite inmates having access to firearms and explosives, prison staff are not allowed to carry weapons within the building. The unrest began in March 2020 with the emergence of the COVID-19 pandemic and escalated into a scandalous uprising, resulting in 83 injuries and 23 deaths. Petak Island Prison, Russia Petak Island Prison, also known as Russia's Alcatraz, is believed to strike fear into even the heart of the devil. Isolated in the vast Navazoro Lake, this small island prison houses 193 inmates, all serving life sentences. As you can imagine, the inmates here are the worst of the worst. They are ready to use anything they can get their hands on as a weapon or an escape route. Each of them is kept in a small cell for 23 hours a day. Escape is impossible because inmates are not allowed to leave the prison for any reason. They spend the one hour they are allowed outside their cells in a small outdoor cage where they can barely take a few steps. What makes Paddock Island Prison worse than Black Dolphin, if there is one thing, is the limited access to basic amenities like bathrooms and toilets for the inmates. This can lead to nearly half of the inmates contracting tuberculosis. Some say it resembles a zoo in the winter when the prison is surrounded by freezing waters that further crush the inmates' morale. Although physically strong, most of them start to deteriorate mentally over time. According to one inmate, the first nine months are spent adapting to the environment, and after three to four years, their personalities begin to deteriorate. Do you think it's possible for a person who spends years in such a place to maintain their mental health? Bang Kwong Prison, Thailand Bang Kwong Prison, located in Thailand, is a maximum security facility known for housing both local and foreign inmates. It is characterized by extreme overcrowding and insufficient financial support, making it one of the worst prisons worldwide due to an unjust penal system and inmate abuse. Initially built in the 1930s to accommodate around 3,500 people, it now holds over 8,000 residents. 
Most of the inmates have been sentenced to at least 25 years in prison, with approximately 10% of them in death row cells. Within the prison, there is a hierarchical system in place. Upon arrival, every inmate is required to wear leg irons for three months, and they are served the worst portions of meals. The entire prison population strives to survive on a daily diet consisting of only a bowl of rice and soup. Those who remain hungry can purchase food from the prison canteen, but those without money must work for wealthier inmates to obtain their meals. Due to the lack of clean water, overcrowding, and a dreadful sewage system that fills the prison with toxic fumes, many inmates frequently fall ill. Perhaps one of the most horrifying aspects of this prison is how easy it is to end up there. Eating in public, reading a forbidden book, or sitting in groups of five or more individuals can be enough to land you in Bangkwang Prison. Being a good citizen or a tourist does not exempt you. A stark example of this occurred when a British tourist was attacked by a Thai gang a few years ago. Despite losing an eye and suffering severe injuries, he was sent to Bangkwang Prison simply to defend himself. Another inmate, sentenced to 50 years for drug trafficking, claimed that the punishments in the prison were worse than death. Alda Ciudad Barrios Prison, El Salvador Next up is Ciudad Barrios Prison, the most dangerous prison in El Salvador. The reason for its extreme danger is that it hosts the world's most ruthless gangs, MS-13 and Barrio 18. A non-gang member inmate can suddenly feel the cold breath of death on their neck. That's why from 2004 to 2015, only gang members were sent to this hellhole. However, being a gang member may not always be enough. The overcrowded prison conditions, well beyond its capacity, are so dire that a criminal's desire to obtain simple things like food or a place to sleep can easily turn into a deadly fight. The prison's notorious reputation for lawlessness and violence has even made guards fear working there. Currently, the entire prison system is run by gang members. Kamatai Prison, Kenya Constructed in 1954, Kamatai Prison in Kenya was designed by British colonialists to house criminals during the state of emergency declared in 1952. Everything, including the gallows used at the time, remains in place to this day. The only thing that has changed is the overall condition of the prison. Since its opening, it can be described as nothing short of a hellhole. Instead of the 1,200 inmates it was meant to accommodate, almost 3,000 prisoners now have to coexist. This overcrowding has led to the emergence of serious diseases such as AIDS, syphilis, tuberculosis, and many other dangerous illnesses that should normally be under control. Even worse, ongoing unrest and corruption have plagued the prison system. Due to being a dumping ground for government dissenters, most of the free population within the prison is uneducated. This situation has given rise to scenarios where inmates within the prison scam innocent Kenyan citizens through telephone fraud. Kamatai Prison is a chaotic place, and behind these walls, only the smartest, bravest, and most ruthless can survive. Black Dolphin Prison, Russia Russian prisons are known for their strict rules, but one of them surpasses the others. Located near the border of Kazakhstan, Black Dolphin is one of Russia's oldest prisons. It gets its name from the old statue of a black dolphin made by former inmates in front of the building. It's quite strange that a statue representing freedom is here because there is nothing resembling freedom in Black Dolphin. The only way to escape this prison is death because only inmates sentenced to life imprisonment are sent to Black Dolphin. It is believed that a single inmate has committed approximately five murders, and considering that there are about 700 inmates in the prison, the total number of murders they may have committed could reach 3,500. Believe it or not, murder is not the worst thing in these inmates' criminal records. Black Dolphin also houses cannibals, assault perpetrators, psychopaths, 
terrorists, and pedophiles. Two inmates share a 7.5 square meter cell behind three steel doors. These cells are under constant surveillance 24 hours a day, and guards patrol every 15 minutes. Inmates rarely leave their cells. If they need to, their eyes are blindfolded and they walk bent forward. This way, they are prevented from seeing or feeling their surroundings in any way. Criminals are not allowed to leave their cells, which is why there are no gardens or cafeterias in the facility. Their meals consist only of soup and bread. If hell were a prison, its biggest rival could be Black Dolphin. Keter Ama Prison, Rwanda Being overcrowded is a common theme among most prisons on this list, but there is hardly another prison as terrible as Keter Ama Central Prison in Rwanda. Originally designed to accommodate 1,300 people, the facility is currently forced to house 8,000 inmates. Finding a place to lay their heads is a luxury for the people here. Many inmates spend their days standing or bargaining for a spot to sleep with others. When we say a spot to sleep, do not imagine beds with sheets. We are talking about floors soaked with dampness and feces. After a while, this filthy environment naturally leads to more significant problems. Many inmates die from diseases and respiratory failure. Additionally, if their feet get injured in any way, gangrene is almost inevitable. In such cases, they either risk amputation or allow the gangrene to spread throughout their bodies. Get ready, because the worst part is yet to come. There are rumors that some inmates have turned into literal cannibals due to hunger and misery. We believe that this is just the tip of the iceberg because there is very little documentation about the activities behind Jitorama's bars. Prison guards undergo manipulative training before starting their jobs to ensure they do not see inmates as human beings. This training must have worked, as approximately 2,000 people lost their lives in Rwandan prisons last year, with a significant portion of those deaths occurring in Gitarama Central Prison. What are your thoughts on these prisons? Could you have imagined that things would deteriorate to this extent for a convicted inmate? We eagerly await your comments on these chilling places.